next and last reader is Valerie Wallace. Valerie Wallace is the author of House of McQueen, out this year from Four Way Books, and the chapbook The Dictator's Guide to Good Housekeeping. Her work was chosen by Margaret Atwood for the 2012 Addy Award and has been supported by various grants and fellowships. She earned her MFA from the School of the Art Institute of Chicago and is Associate Director of Communications for the project Virtue, Happiness, and the Meaning of Life at the University of Chicago. Uh, Valerie also teaches at Harold Washington College and the Newberry Library and offers private workshops. Please welcome Valerie Wallace. I'm so happy to be here. It was really great to read with you. Um, um, this is my first book, and I've been reading a few places, and I've always wanted to come to Austin. And um, I'm really happy to get to be here. <laughs> Thanks, Malcolm. My book is about uh, Alexander McQueen, who was a British fashion designer. And he died in 2010. And that's when I learned about him. <coughs> and I uh, didn't know much about fashion. Really, I just sort of thought it was irritating. Um, <laughs> And so I got to do a lot of reading because I wanted to write about him. I decided. <coughs> anyway, um, he grew up in public housing in um, in London, and this poem has that um, for the title, and it's got an epigraph in it uh, <coughs> from a conversation he had with a reporter about um, how he got interested in fashion. Council House. 1972. When I was about three years old, I drew a dress on the wall. And what dress was it? Cinderella. When she turned, I'd never seen anything like it. Dress made for charming prince and fairy. I could manage the little sleeves, tiny waist rising out of skirts which laughed as they traveled with her across the ballroom floor. And they had stars woven in them. I got caught wondering how to draw that color, seacoast changing to dawn. There was trouble, but I didn't care. I knew it was the dress that saved her. All the rest was just a story. poem is about a kind of trousers McQueen invented that um, in the 90s where the waistline was dropped quite low and many of us in the audience um, who are women <laughs> um, know about this trouser. So I found out that McQueen was actually very interested in this, what was happening back here. So he thought this was the very sensual part. And so um, the name of this poem is the nickname that these trousers had, um, which is Bumpsters. I cut a path to the sacred, tired of suggestion. I turned her to the side, plumbed the plumb, cupped her saucer, lowered the drape to her small place of want at the back. I touch, I touch where she pleases. I dropped something. I found something. And so this one, this one is made um, from, what do I want to say? This, I, I um, read that one day, Alexander McQueen hopped, not hopped, hopped into his um, his workroom with a handful of red medical slides and said, let's make a dress from these. And um, to their surprise, the people who worked for him did. Mm -hmm. they, uh, they all put it together. So this is a poem inspired by this dress. And it's called, Let's Make a Dress from These. 
stained red medical slides layer vertically on sleeveless sheets, high necked and cut away from right shoulder to right hip bone. Heavy overskirt of crimson ostrich feathers swish and switch, thick and deliberate into plum black feathered underskirt. They obey the law of push. From the slightest pressure, they bloom. Interpreter of alarm, lover of syringe and tub water, tongue at your throat. One thousand thin clappers summon the carnal bell, raucous rouge, smudge of poppies, murder of corpuscular roses, so juiced they vogue, ruby strewn on scarlet carpet. You stare. There is fire racing under your skin. Twin to arrows. Close your eyes to see me. Repeat me to feel me. At the end, I go quietly. I take you with me. Um, I feel far away from people. <laughs> so I love being right here on the <laughs> chandelier. I'm going to just move up a little. This is to keep track. All right, so here's a poem I made after seeing a video of a sort of, um, at, at, as it uh, began a disastrous interview that McQueen had with an interviewer who was clear, clearly unprepared. Um, and it's got a repeating line in it. This form is a bop, so you'll, you'll hear a line um, said again. McQueen's bop with the interviewer. I've tried my best to get away from the little black dress. That uniform makes mine eyes glaze over. How can you trust counterfeit elegance? There's something ignorant in women who wear sparrows. I want people to be afraid of the women I dress. Waif who needs rescuing isn't romance. I've seen naivete. I know what can happen. Someone's life is burning from this world's brutal kiss. I am, you are, the voyeur, the mirror. I want people to be afraid of the women I dress. This is sartorial, but oh softness, oh radiance. Leather, locusts, shells, fur, the clothes I make don't acquiesce. Here teeth and nets, art of armor. I want people to be afraid of the women I dress. And let's see. So one of the um, forms of poems I was excited to really try was making weaving. So I have some of these in the book, and you can read them, I hope, um, this way or this way. So um, this one's got a line from Mark Doty um, woven in it. It's, so this is called McQueen Linen. I'm going to read it down and then across. I design the shows when I find the body's perimeter. I will not pull back if you take even my skull. As stills, I've tried to tell you what I see, gesture toward everything you will soon be. If you look, they tell no place for fear. It's intricate, our body's wreckage, the way we have got uncovered. The whole story, I show myself, altered, silver, dream, but radiant, waking, all of us born to let everything go still. I design the shows as still, excuse me, I design the shows as stills. If you look, they tell the whole story. When I find I've no place for fear, I show myself. The bodies try to tell you it's intricate, altered perimeter. What I see are bodies 
silver dream. I will not gesture wreckage, but radiant waking. Pull back toward the way we all of us born. If you take everything, you've got to let everything go. Even my skull will soon be uncovered still. Um, and this one is, so I, um, I felt really unqualified to make this book, but I really enjoyed it. And one of the ways I helped myself was to look at other poets and see how they made their poems. And there's a poet named Spencer Leese who made a self-portrait as a bestiary collection of animals. And I thought, well, Alexander McQueen loved animals, so I think he would do a self-portrait as a bestiary. bestiary. So that's what this poem is. Um, it's, it's little poems in his voice, but, um, but they're animals, if that makes sense. So the first one's raven. Um, it's got a Greek word that means under the ground. Raven, fill myself with tonic things, always close to the underworld, but not of it. Too busy stealing and yanking information from every direction. Take my satisfaction by seconds. Know the difference between raven and crow? Histrionic. My mind jabs, tilts. I love a clean mind. Look at these bones, oil, bits of fur. I'll use my own feathers if I have to. You hear me? You hear me? You hear me? You hear me? And um, then snake has these long lines. Um, snake. My ears are filled with all this sky. I make my way through your orchard, find the fallen, fermented, honor their use for my use. Every skin I leave behind a flamboyance, a chronicle, each of them a yes, yes. And here's Moth. I memory the cloud my mother spun around me, dirt birth me. My soul thrusts in and out with all this rustling. Every night I must get hold of some brilliance. And then um, this is jellyfish. The moon <clears throat> whispers like a sting in the sea. Feels like millions of years I've gathered and worried the thick current. Armorless, I am threaded with blades. The moon turns blue, murmurs, no heart, no heart. I am a festival of longing. The last one is a hawk. Constellation skimming the unknown world. My velocity, a kind of screed. When from my highest perch I keen the mouse's movement, and the mouse who turns to peer up, sees only sun. I am the angel and the demon when I finish into him, which is all I want, to use the bright, to make quick destruction, to dive to it. Um, okay. So, um, I'm just going to read a couple more. This one is from a series within the book that are sonnets, and um, they're, they they started as a just a collage uh, collage poems or centos, um, and that that talking too much about this. Okay, this is what I want you to know. I obsessively read interviews with many, many women who knew Alexander McQueen, and I wrote down all these words, and then I had this like, pages of words, and so I, I made this rule that I 
would make sonnets out of just those words. So this one is McQueen's voice, as are all these in this um, series. But the words are Naomi Campbell. <clears throat> Who was I asking with women and concepts the whole butterfly night of the world and why a wing in a mirror could interpret it and the body's grief and courage. My life begins with every question I face. In each wild shape my surgery finds when I call out my name with my touch. I know the deep privacy of the possibly lost Am I meant to be tempted as I am? Unwrap intimacy, take its top off, go deeper to nerve and blood and calm. Everything feels wild, nothing feels young. I have found beauty, pulled back the cover, and in my time was some kind of wonder. So I'm going to read uh, one that's uh, another piece of clothing and then um, one last one. So this one is about a pair of wings that McQueen designed. And um, I think that's all I'll say about that. This is called Winged. The old masters got them wrong. Their locations, at least, not pinned at the spine like a moth's or the bone blade spurt. From the tiny bloom of sternum, I swept over shoulders, arced, fanned, slipped for heavy arms. How on earth do you expect to walk in them? Ha! <laughs> That's in there, ha. <laughs> Behold balsa ribbons, flamed, laced bindings, not for flight, a descent. How will you care for me? Keep me from fire. It sings, you know, consecration, consolation, a promise to be ever sown into the sun. And this one's made, um, this one is a cento, it's a collage form made from lines by the poet Jack Spicer. And this is a sonnet too. I, I thought it was important to have, um, you know, a lot of craft in this book and a sort of nod to McQueen's English. Um, this, um, so it's a Shakespearean sonnet. Silhouette for the 21st century. The naked sound of the body sounds like a trumpet. I announce a new world in which your madness and my madness at the point of a needle is my love spinning. Drop a hard landscape of bone and shadow. I am in love with birds. Oh, sprinkled with a little gold leaf. What is real, I suppose, will endure. Shape that moves forwards and backwards. Utter logic of form and color, something in God language in spite of all this unfathomable language. I gave you my imaginary hand, and you gave me your imaginary hand, and we walked together in imaginary land over the earthly ground.